friends hope all are doing well this is kunal first thanks to all for uh, facebook poll response as per the facebook poll today we will discuss about the cfr as you all are aware about the us fda to supply drugs to us market we need to comply the cfr let's start during today's topic we will cover the points like introduction cfr table of contents structure of cfr CFR applicable for pharma, 21 CFR introduction. So let's start with the CFR full form. Anyone knows about the full form of CFR? Check this diagram. C, C stand for code, F stand for federal, R stand for regulation. So, so meaning is CFR is code of federal regulations let's discuss in deep so code means is a codification like 21 like indian penal codes same is code in a cfr for federal rules published in the federal register by federal government of us that's why they have mentioned the federal means all are this published in the government register and by the government so that's why it is called as a federal and regulations regulations means nothing but the general and permanent rules made by the u.s governments so the code of federal regulations is the codification of the general and permanent rules published in the federal register by the department and agencies of the federal government hope all are with me let's move to the next topic let me elaborate further on C the cfr divided into 50 titles means there are total 50 different agencies or different departments related to this and in this one is a food and drugs so there are 50 total titles in the cfr the titles are broken down into the chapters, subchapters, parts, sections, and paragraph. CFR issued once each calendar year on this schedule. So there is a schedule mentioned, um, maintained by the USFDA, and they are issuing the particular title in a particular month. So let's see so titles 1 to 16 are revised as of january 1 titles 17 to 27 are revised as of april 1 titles 28 to 41 are revised as of july 1 and titles 42 to 50 are revised as of october 1 this is the revision schedule for the cfr So we will see what is the structure of the CFR, how to read the CFR. Let's see this diagram. We will break down this diagram into the parts. So we will understand the actual meaning of this. So let's move. This is 21 means this is a title. Title 21. CFR means the Code of Federal Regulation this symbol means a special symbol mention, meaning of section this is means section 211 this is a part means title 21 and in that part 211 25 25 means a section number within this particular part means title 21 part 211 and in that section 25 and this b means paragraph paragraph labeled b within this section means in this 25 number section there is a b paragraph so this is the whole structure of the cfr so let's see which cfr applicable for the pharma title 21 is applicable for food and drug title 21 is also divided into three chapters let's check this diagram 
Chapter 1 is Food and Drug Administration. Chapter 2 Drug Enforcement Administration. And Chapter 3 is Office of Natural Drug Control Policy. But, but in this, we are mainly <clears throat> dealing with the Food and Drug Administration. As we discussed in previous slide, Chapter 1 is applicable for the pharma industry. Chapter 1 is derived from the Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act. Like in India, we have a Food and Drug and Cosmetic Act. Similar way, US also have a Federal Food, Drug and Cosmetic Act. Here are the three main parts of the 21 CFR. Electronic records and electronic signatures part 11 CGMP practicing manufacturing processing packing or holding of drugs part 210 CGMP practice for finished pharmaceuticals part 211 Also, there are two more parts 314 for FDA approval to Market a new drug and part 600 for biological products, but these are not important for us So we will mainly focus on these three parts so let's sum up main points we learn what is cfr how to read the cfr which cfr applicable to pharma thank you for watching video i am happy to answer your questions you might have please mention your questions in comment box have a good time